so once upon a time there was a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <laughs> but this world has changed, so has, who is she right now? Barbie is definitely evolving and I think that's really what's great about that is it shows progress. I think, mm. you know, the brand is in a very different place from sort of where it's been in, in its entire history and you know, having worked here 20 years, I'm really proud to see the evolution of the continued evolution of Barbie, what, what that means. Mm. And for me, what it means today is Barbie represents more than, you know, more kids than ever. Mm. So all these new ways of sharing information and sharing the things you love are really dynamic and really where people live. And so Barbie is equally evolving and changing and has a social media presence and I think wants to represent more styles, more diversity, more variety than ever before, which is why the line has so many different styles and different mm -hmm. ranges. And she's more diverse, more inclusive. Mm -hmm. There's a doll with a prosthetic, there's a doll in a wheelchair. And I think that's really our goal, is to continue to push inclusivity, to make sure that kids everywhere have a doll that represents them or that speaks to them that they could get. So you work here for 20 years? Yeah. So you've seen a lot of Barbies? I've seen a lot of Barbie dolls come and go, yes. And what's your favorite one? <laughs> I, well, I always say the same one because it was a doll that I designed I named it after my sister when she got married and then we kind of copied her wedding gown oh that I also God. designed. So it was more like a tribute gift, but yeah. it was personal, so mm -hmm. it's a personal story. Barbies is not just a doll, it's something more for all of you. Yeah, I think that, um, I think while Barbie is a doll, Barbie also is a, a lifestyle mm. brand and, and an icon and also when you think about toys in general, when we welcome toys into our homes, is at some of the most vulnerable times in our lifetime, either as parents or as, mm -hmm. as children. It's not even an industry. This is what I'm getting from here. Yeah. But everybody loves Barbie like she, it's a she. Yeah. It's actually, it's an actual person. Like it's an actual person. I think that the feelings that people have for this doll are very much rooted in, you know, deep emotions because mm -hmm. it's a connection to a really positive memory, whether it's a childhood memory or a memory of sharing an experience. Mm. How do you want girls to think about their doll when they buy their first Barbie? What do you want them to think? I want them to think whatever they want to think mm. about it. You know, if, if a kid is attracted to a Barbie doll and they choose that out of all the options they have, I want them to feel connected, I want them to be inspired, and I want them to utilize that doll to foster their own imagination and creativity. Thank you very much. Oh, you're it's very an inspiration for even for us. Oh. We're guests here. Oh, thank you. Thank I'm you glad. So much. It's lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.